Stanley Jones is a printmaker. He studied at the Slade and then he spent some time in Paris in the 50s. And when he came back to the UK in 1958, he set up Kerwin Studios. Uh, so he was a kind of master printmaker, but what he did with Kerwin that was really interesting was that he started approaching quite established artists and also particularly sculptors uh, to make prints, whereas perhaps they hadn't tried that medium before. And Hepworth was one of those that he approached. The first prints done with Barbara were basically two editions commissioned. Barbara came to my studio in St. Ives and actually brought with her a piece of zinc plate ground for lithography, which I'd advised her uh, to use for her idea as an experiment, not as an edition of print. What she'd done was to grind off the grain, which is emphatically necessary for the printing of the lithograph. And I had to say to her, Barbara, this is not necessarily going to print what you want. But she said, I much prefer working this way. Do you mind if I work for Robert Erskine this way? So she was determined to begin an experiment with the medium which she found intriguing right from the start. The result proved successful and she was delighted. And so that proof I have given to the museum and gallery up in Wakefield because it represents Barbara's determination to pursue ideas as well as technicalities. Stanley went back to Hepworth's studio in 1968 and they spent that fortnight there. And actually it's a really interesting time in Hepworth's career because she had taken on a studio specifically for painting. So having been known as a carver and a sculptor, she was actually making a lot of paintings in the 60s, often inspired by the sea and the sky and her natural surroundings. And I feel like at this point in 68 when they're working together she's bringing together not only ideas that she's interested in in her sculpture so obviously this is the time of the moon landings Hepworth was really interested in space exploration so you see a lot of those forms the sun and the moon in her sculptures at this time but you also see them in her paintings and you see them coming together in her lithographs that she made with Stanley Jones. This is intense occupation and Barbara was also doing her sculpture. Her sculpture would also produce ideas for the lithographs. And this is the beginning of a whole series of lithography which were based on trial and error. So it tackled different technical problems, uses of chemicals which produced surprising results. And of course, being Barbara, she got carried away with experimentation. Sometimes she couldn't wait and would come down the uh, harbour where I was lodging, taking me back to her studio and actually working with her until daylight dawned. I didn't mind this because the important thing was with Barbara, she was very intense in the making of her images and I wanted to be with her at the time so that she could experiment freely and not be worried about wasting time. So often I was this person in the room with her working on the ideas and explaining possibilities of what we could do when I took these plates back to Plasto and reproof them for her to see colour and variety, which is what she liked to experiment with. She obviously enjoyed working with Stanley so much on the first suite, 12 lithographs, that he did that he returned back to St Ives to work with her again on a second suite, at the Aegean Suite in 1971. And the name, I think, comes from uh, Hepworth's trip to Greece in 1954. Uh, she travelled there to help her kind of overcome the grief of losing her eldest son. 
the year before. The trip to Greece was interesting in that it was encountering another landscape, but also that it was a way of her sort of processing her grief and refinding her joy in art making um, and in making art as an act of praise, as she talked about it. Um, so I think that sense of kind of joy comes through in the Aegean suite as well, and certainly those kind of vivid colours.